Hi, this is the fifth video on reflections, and the focus here is on grid and coordinates. This is a good one, and looking for patterns. You're going to be asked to reflect a triangle about the x-axis and look at what happens to the coordinates. We're going to illustrate this with the TI Inspire software. So get your software ready. So on the software, go over to Tools, Templates, and number five, Grid and Coordinates. And you'll notice now we do have uh, a grid paper here. Uh, we can also talk about the x-axis being the equation y equals zero. And we have the coordinates of the pre-image here. So we're going to reflect triangle ABC about this and start looking for patterns among the coordinates. But first, what we want you to do is do this on your paper. Uh, show that triangle on your paper to show that that's the reflection of this triangle right here. So, Oh, and also write the ordered pair for each point. This is in 5A. Pause and resume when, nest, when needed. Going back to the software, we shouldn't come up with any conclusions based on just one example. So let's go ahead and do like we've been doing, grab and pull vertices and see if you notice the same pattern uh, among the coordinates that you saw before. And start thinking about how you would word this as a conjecture. Maybe pull the triangle down here. And again, you could be doing this with your software, which would be a lot more fun. Here is what you should have written for part A and number five, and also have this figure drawn in. So we did play, investigate, explore, discover. Let's see what kind of conjecture you can come up with. So on uh, 5C and D, go ahead and read that and fill in the blanks. Press pause and resume when you're ready. So based on your observations, complete the following. When a triangle is reflected about the x-axis, the what remain the same and the what are opposites of each other. Well, we're hoping that you went with x-coordinates remain the same, as you can see here, and the y-coordinates are opposites of each other. And we prefer that over negatives, because negatives, sometimes people think that means the answer is always negative. And as you can see right here, they are not always negative. Part D, we want to write this with symbols. So when a triangle is reflected about the x-axis and a point on the pre-image has coordinates some number x, comma some number y, then the coordinates on the image will be represented how symbolically. And that would be, <clears throat> excuse me, the ordered pair x, comma, opposite of y. So it says in symbols what this says up here in words. And it's important that you understand both. All right, so let's move on to 6a. Here we're going to reflect about the y-axis, which is also the line x equals 0. So I'd like you to draw triangle A prime, B prime, C prime, the image of this pre-image, and then we'll do this with the software. So pause is needed, reflect that triangle, draw it in. To check this with the software, uh, we'll go ahead and reset, press reset, and we're going to change the uh, uh, reflection line to be the vertical line uh, x equals 0, which is also the y-axis. And then I'm going to go ahead and reflect. And hopefully the, this is what your answer looked like. And these are the coordinates. So go ahead and fill in those coordinates and make any changes you need to do so. Press pause and continue when you're ready. Again, this is what your answer should look like in six part 6a. Pause if you need to. And what we want to do is play with this and, and see if we can make a conjecture like we did before. So we're going to go back to the software and grab and pull those points around and see if the, conject the ideas you thought, what you've observed, seem to hold true no matter where the triangle is. Look at the coordinates. 
This is reflecting about the y-axis or the line x equals 0. So go ahead and look at C and D and complete those statements there. Press pause and continue as needed. So based on your observations, complete the following. When a triangle is reflected about the y-axis, or the line x equals 0, the what remains the same and the what are opposites of each other. And in this case, the y-coordinates remained the same, but the x-coordinates were opposites of each other. And how would you write that with symbols? x, y would map to what ordered pair? The opposite of x, comma, the same y-coordinate. And again, make sure you understand both. Moving on to number 7a. Uh, we want you to reflect that triangle about the line y equals x. Um, if you want to pause it now, you can, uh, you, or else you can go right to the uh, software and reflect about that line, and then answer 5a, drawing in the figure, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, listing the coordinates of the image triangle. So now going back here, I'll reset put in the line, the slanted line, which is the line y equals x, and reflect it. And if you need to make any changes to your answers, pause the video now. But look for some kind of a pattern. One does not make a pattern, so we'll again grab and move points, and or your observations staying the same. All right, so if you need to, press pause and uh, finish problem, that this problem here. Finish all the parts C and D. So here are the answers to 7A, if you need to change anything there. And then we played with that. And so uh, when a triangle is reflected about the line Y equals X, what happens here? Well, it turns out that the coordinates are just interchanged. X becomes Y and Y becomes X. You can also use the word switched. Do not say they're opposites of each other. They're not opposites of each other. That's different. How would you write that as symbols? X, Y would map to what ordered pair? And that would be Y comma X, showing that those two are interchanged. Again, it's important that you understand both the verbal and the symbolic way to represent that. There is one video six remaining, um, which is reflecting about any linear equation. Uh, but before we do, we do that, I'm going to assign the uh, assignment. These are the opportunities to learn, the problems you need to do to help make sure you understand. And that is to finish any exercise left on this uh, PDF. Uh, these are the ones I think that we have not done. So whatever it is we need to finish there, please do so now. And then continue on to video six. This is the end of video five.